Welcome back, this is XX Boy XX with our video walkthrough of The Legend of the Mystical Ninja on Super Nintendo. We're still on Shikuku Island and we just encountered the Lantern Man and he sold him the Cat Boss Koban captive. Ha 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 ha! You must be Koban's cat's partner. Come on, bitch, I'm ready for you. Let's fight it out right now! This is a really weird designed enemy. He's like a Christmas tree with legs or something. I don't know. Okay, so here's what you need to do. You need to go jump on him and hit these lanterns off with your weapon. They usually take only about four or five hits per lantern. And well, right now you can only hit the white ones, so, you know, don't get all threatened about, you know, if you can't hit the red ones. You just have to get the, the white ones out of the way first. And if you're having, you know, trouble, you know, hitting them or something, you can actually switch to your money and shoot it from the ledge, if that makes it easier for you. As long as you stay on one side of the screen, he'll keep jumping back towards you, and, you know, if that makes it easier for you, do it that way. Otherwise, try to conserve your money. And we got one more lantern, lantern, and then we'll go to the red ones. Okay, so, same thing with the red ones. Takes about four hits to knock these off. And then they shoot these little flames at you. Which you can actually hit the flames with your weapon and they'll disappear, so. Like that. But I missed them, but it would have disappeared had I hit them. There we go. Okay, so we got two more. Not including the one in his face. Which just disappears when he's done. Oh. Just need to get that last one. I think I'll just use my money just so you know, make it a little bit easier. Alright, so now his face comes back, and now you just hit his face. Once again, you know, if you're having trouble, use your money. A few more hits, and he should be gone. There we go. Yeah, we beat him. And there's Koban Cat. Meow! Thanks for helping me out of there, man. I'm Koban Cat. I've been waiting for you. We're a band of ninja cats protecting Ido. Oh, this really hurts my voice, trying to do that high-pitched voice for the cat. So we'll just try to get the midst of it, you know. I'm just going to try to go through this really quickly. Basically, what he's saying is, you know, that Someone has taken Princess Yuki, the ruler of Edo, and she's, yeah, she's been kidnapped. So they've been searching all over Japan, and they think that she's been taken by a group of mysteriously masked men. They have special weapons that cripple their ability to change forms. Change forms? What exactly does a cat change into? So those weapons caused them trouble, and they've learned something, that the Utafu army of Awaji Island have been known to kidnap women. And they must have taken them. Are those the masked men we were looking for? Alright, looks like we're going to Awaji Island. But first, let's have a fireworks display. Kid Ying and Dr. Yang encountered the Hai Hayotoko army and did away with them. Now they must go to Awaji Island to take care of the Tofu army. Wicked kidnappers of helpless people. Alright, so... Oh, amusement park. Why the hell are we going to an amusement park? Shouldn't we be saving Princess Yuki? We shouldn't... You know, we don't have time to waste you know, at an amusement park. Oh, well, I guess maybe we just have to walk through it or something to get to Awaji Island. Okay, well, before you get too far, switch to your weapon, or to your money really quick. Because you're going to have these ladies at the very end of the bridge, and they throw these little paper planes at you. And they're hard to get past, so it's easier just to hit them from afar. And then walk past when, you know, when there's a gap. Alright, so switch back really quick and beat her. 
Okay, this is the park. But before you go in, you can hit this window right here and a lollipop or something pops off. And it's worth $100. All right, welcome to the amusement park. It's huge. You got people to hit, games to play, and you have rides that you can't ride. That's right, they're just for decoration, so don't get your hopes up. But I do want to stress something here. You should actually try to conserve your money as best you can. It does have a lot of games, you know, and... Well, you know, just can try to conserve your money, because later in the game... I, I think I mentioned this in my last video, that it's a lot harder to get money in your, la in your later parts of the game. And you have a lot of expensive stuff that you need to buy to complete the game. So we'll just, you know, we'll conserve our money. We'll spend wisely. Oh, a McDonald's. Look at this. Hi! Come on in! Would you like something to eat? Sure. Well, I don't really need very much. I think I'll just do takeout. And I'll save it for later. Thank you! Alright, we got like a Big Mac or something. Nice. And it's so fun just hitting their head. And watch their masks fall off and just bounce around. That's so much fun. You get a sense of pleasure just by watching it fly around like that. Or bounce around, I guess. Okay, what do we got up here? More rooms and stuff. Ooh, we have a diary for you. Well, basically, this is... If you ever, you know, quit your game or decide, you know, you're done playing for the day or something, you could write down one of these passwords... And you could resume your game, you know, exactly where you left off. Well, the only bad thing is that the password is just huge. I mean, it's long. Look at this. It's got symbols, lowercase, uppercase, numbers, everything mixed in, in there. So it's really hard, you know, to write down the password. You know, if you make one mistake, you know, you pretty much lose your game. But with that being said, if you actually lose, you know, or lose all your lives or something in the game, you can actually start back up at your logbook, logbook entry. Which sometimes can be helpful, you know, if you're doing like, you know, buy a lot of equipment and stuff, and you know, you play hard level, and you know, you're not doing so well, you could start back up at the log logbook entry, and you get all your items back, you know, and it's just pretty much like you haven't been there before, so it, it helps you out, I guess. Okay, let's go in one of these rooms. It's like a small tent, but that's fine. Alright, we have a new item for you at the shop, the clock. Which, you know, it's pretty self-explanatory. It just extends your time limit up there. You know, God forbid if you, know, use all that time, you know, playing the games and whatnot, but I don't really see how you could do that because, you know, when you go in the house, usually the time stops, so. This person's smiling. How about joining the tough army? You can have fun while making lots of money! Yeah, she's pretty happy for just, you know, someone just walking into your house, you know, she doesn't seem to care about that, but that's fine. Alright, we have $2,000, look at that. $2,005. Let's play one of these games, you know, I... What do we want to do? Ooh, Gradius. Who will play? Well, Kid Ying will play. I will play, not Kid Ying. Push start to start, okay. Anyone that plays Gradius, you know, you should be familiar with the game. This is like a video walkthrough within a video walkthrough. Ooh, got the missile. They actually do have a Gradius 3 for the Super Nintendo. And, you know, if you like, sh sh like shoot 'em up games like this, you know, definitely enjoy Gradius. I sure hope I have enough time to get this on the video, otherwise... Oh! I guess I do. I lost. I'm a lot better. I'm just... I don't know. Play! I didn't even let her finish. I just left. Okay, well, we're actually going to end the video right here. We'll go in this building just, you know, so we don't have to worry about any of this. So we're going to end the video right here. Thank you very much for watching this part of The Legend of the Mystical Ninja video walkthrough. Let's continue with the next video.